Welcome to the Armwood Opinion Channel on YouTube. This is the 10th day of September, the day after um, President Biden decided to really speak out and take action of um, having to deal with the coronavirus, where he's requiring companies that hire 100 people or more to have all of their employees vaccinated or have them tested weekly. This is common sense. Um, everyone with any kind of intelligence knew in the late spring when the um, D variant of coronavirus came out that this was necessary. I remember having a conversation with an idiotic owner of a school that I worked at whether he was going to have virus mandates, and he says, oh no. And of course, since then, there have been outbreaks at that institution, even though mo most classes are online. But it's this lack of caring, this selfishness, this greed, this ugliness in America. And it's largely people who are not very intelligent. It's people that voted for Trump. And there, was, there was a chart in the Washington Post yesterday that showed the areas of the country with the highest rates of infection. And there were areas that voted for Trump. And as we know from the 538 um, blog, that Trump voters tended to be less educated. This is a real problem because the hospital beds are being filled up with people who were not vaccinated. We're seeing a pandemic of the unvaccinated. And as a result, decent people who are, who are getting sick are not having access to good medical care that they would if it weren't for these idiots, these bad people who stubbornly refuse to get shots. And, you know, something needs to be done about them. Because they're hurting the rest of us. They're endangering the health of the population. I know under American law, the state governments can mandate it. There's a case from the Supreme Court in 1905 where the state of Massachusetts um, had a mandate for the um, smallpox vaccination. And one of these idiots didn't want to take it. And the Supreme Court ruled that, of course, it's not a liberty issue. It's a health and safety issue, which is lies squarely in the political power of the state. We have governors like the idiot governor of Georgia, Brian Kemp, who was born here and can barely speak English. I know people, so many people that have immigrated here have taken the time to learn how to speak English. He can't. He got, he, you know, he got passed from UGA based on his white privilege, clearly not his academic grades. Then you have Governor DeSantis of Florida, who stupidly thinks he can run for president by opposing <laughs> the, the, the virus um, requirements that people in his own state are trying to um, impose on schools and making fun of Dr. Fauci. He's falling apart politically in Florida because he's stupid. Then we have Governor Abbott of Texas. We're talking about some of the largest states in the South. Texas, the largest, Florida, second, and Georgia, also one of the largest states. But fortunately in Georgia, we've had the mayor of Atlanta fighting against this stupidity. We have Stacey Abrams who's fighting against this stupidity. 
And this shows why voting is so important. And this is where Biden has fallen down. When it comes to protecting the rights of black people, Biden has not been there throughout his whole career. He should have called for an exception to the filibuster, just like Mitch McConnell did, and it it got passed through for Supreme Court justices. But Biden doesn't give a damn about black people. He talks the talk, but he doesn't walk the walk. And we have to punish him one way or the other for it. The only thing these dumb white boys understand is when we punish them. And he needs to get punished. He needs to get challenged in 2024 by a real Democrat, a progressive Democrat, who is going to do the right thing, who's not going to be a a dummy like Joe Biden. As I said, Biden's been good on the pandemic because that affects white people. But he has not been good on voting rights for black people and other peoples of color. Therefore, he must be punished. And the only punishment we have is to kick his behind out and get somebody better in. And we have other people who are there. Elizabeth Warren, just to mention one. Bernie Sanders, I'd take either one of them over Biden. But the bottom line here is that the people who are not getting vaccinated are a public menace. The rules are in my building that you have to have on a face covering if you're inside the building. Outside where I'm sitting, you're not required to have it. That's why you see my mask is pulled down here. A woman just walked in the door to see one of her daughters. Does she have a face covering on? No. These people don't care. They're low lives. They're really bad, and it's time we ostracize them. You know, people were saying, oh, we shouldn't ostracize them at first. That was not smart. We have to ostracize them. We have to make them feel guilty. We have to show that they are bad people who are causing a pandemic. They are causing people to die because there's not space in hospitals. We can't treat them like they're normal people. They're not normal people. I'm sick and tired of them. Most people I know are sick and tired of them. They're prolonging the pandemic. They're making all of us vulnerable to breakthrough infections. Those of us who had the decency and intelligence to get vaccinated and who are are following the safety protocols, they're putting us in danger. So we don't need to handle them with king gloves. We need to handle them with an iron fist. And it seemed like Joe Biden was finally starting to do that yesterday. I criticize him for some things, but I applaud him for this. And it needs to get a lot stronger. Schools need to have mandates. Vaccine mandates for those over 12 years old. Period. The, um, the, the virus, has, the um, vaccination has not been approved for under 12s. But there need to be mandates for the staff. If the staff don't want it, fire them. Just like in hospitals. If the staff don't want to get it, fire them. I can guarantee you that when it comes to losing their jobs, these ignorant, stubborn people will go ahead and get vaccinated. So that's what we need to do. It's, 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 it's serious. It's affecting people's health. And we've got to stop the foolishness now. We're, this is fall coming up. This is the 10th. We have 11 days to, to fall. We know the, va- the, the, the virus gets worse when we're indoors. This has been a bad summer. And conditions are as bad as they were last winter right now. Even though we have the vaccine. It's simply because we have idiots, and I mean idiots, stupid people, who refuse to take it. And we have got to either force them to take it or ostracize them for society. They shouldn't be allowed in restaurants. They shouldn't be allowed in schools. They shouldn't be allowed in places of work unless they get it. Plain and simple. 
These are bad people. And we need to treat them as such. Okay. This is the Armwood Opinion Channel. I've said what I had to say. Um, hit the like button if you like this video. Subscribe if you like political content like this. And remember, resistance is not futile. And we have to stand up for what's right. We have to not be scared. And we have to not soft shoe this. We've got to stand up to the stupidity. Have a good day. Thank you.